Hey everyone, it's Adam here and welcome to what I'm bringing to film school. Today's video is filmed on the last day of my summer vacation and I'm going to grade 12 but this year is especially important because I'm taking a focus program at a special school where all you do all day is make films. So I'm not packing your ordinary backpack and this isn't your ordinary back to school guide. This is what to bring to film school. This bag should include everything I need. Now I may remove stuff and add stuff as I go to the school and figure out kind of what I need and what I don't. And also the school does supply everything. You can walk in empty handed and you should be fine. But I have all this equipment so I thought it would make the most sense to bring it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, right now I'm gonna try and do this raw because it's late night night before school and I just finished packing this thing and I really want to show you what we got inside here. So let's start out with uh, the obvious. This is a Manfrotto backpack and I forget the actual model name but I think it's got a 35 in it and uh, it's this lightweight travel kit although it's not very lightweight with all the stuff I have in it and basically it's very nice. It's a backpack form but can also be converted into a like side strap form and uh, you can access your camera through the sides and all these fancy things. But one of the main reasons I got it is it's waterproof. It's fully waterproof from the outside in and I'm gonna be riding my motorcycle to school a lot of the days. It also comes with a fully waterproof rain shell if you're not happy enough. So if I ride my bike, I know this thing is good. And also it has a tripod holder on the back. So paired with the backpack is my Manfrotto 190 tripod. I think this is version four and it is made of carbon fiber. It's actually, uh, it's very cool. And you can see it's raw carbon fiber, just like strips. And it's a very lightweight tripod that gets very, very tall and does everything I need. It articulates in all sorts of ways. And I've got a ball head tripod attachment on there. Uh, I'm very, very pleased. I didn't mean to go Manfrotto with this entire kit. That's just how it happened. So tripod uh, gets to the back of the bag. Now, the, the two feet go into this pouch here, and then the other one comes down on top, and there's also a strap inside here that straps it all on, but the tripod still had some wiggle to it, so I took a uh, bungee cord and put it through one of these bottom straps up around the top of the ball head and then back to the other one, and that just kept the tripod even more secure on the backpack. Walking around, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but on a motorcycle, that little bit of wiggle I had was not good, so fixed that with a bungee cord. And the tripod, you can see, comes out very easily. So, tripod's out. Now let's take a further look at what we've got here. Um, let's start with the top. So, flipping to this side of the bag here, it kind of opens up like a lunchbox. Uh, and when you open it up from the top, you will see there's a lunchbox in there. One of the challenges was I actually had to combine camera gear with school supplies all in the one bag. So I managed to fit my lunch box in here. Rather than just throwing my lunch in here, I wanna put it in an actual box in case there's any spillage. It won't damage the gear inside. But once I take this out, we got pencils, pens, uh, a little pouch here, which has got uh, a windsock for a boom mic. And um, I got some spare change in there too. That's emergency cash if I forget to pack a lunch and I'm screwed or uh, you know you need some, some cash to bribe yourself out of any situations. Anyone who goes to my school and watches this video now knows where I keep my money in my backpack. Great, but uh, that's that. And then I also have my wallet and Tic Tacs. I keep Tic Tacs in here. Those are, those are emergency Tic Tacs as well. Um, you should always have some of those. So that's what's in this top compartment. If it weren't for the lunch bag, I'd be able to fit so many more goodies in there, but I can't. So, cause you know, food's important. So uh, backpack, there we go. Now there's another uh, little pouch here on the top of the bag. And uh, if we unzip it here, rah, it's uh, my laptop. So we've got the laptop in there, it's a MacBook Pro, and then I have the charger and this guy, which is a hard drive, which I've partitioned to act just like a internal MacBook drive. So when I plug this into any Mac computer, it thinks it's part of the system. And I've got a Final Cut Pro library programmed on here, which means what I can do is I can take my iMac at home, plug this in, work on a project fluently, unplug it, put it into my MacBook, work on it there. And then the school just got a grant this year. They have like 30 brand new iMacs. So we're working all with Apple, which means my editing software. So I can convert everything from home and portable to school 
all with this drive and my laptop in there. And uh, there's also enough room and another sleeve if I need little handouts of paper or do a tang, I can fit it in there as well uh, for any paper I may need in school because it is still school as fun as it sounds. Um, let's go to the side here. There's a side pouch here containing all my USBs. We have a C-Type, Mini, and Micro, as well as one uh, wall to USB adapter. So that should have every USB I need. Um, and then there's an identical pouch on the other side containing oh, all things batteries. It's got all my camera batteries, a bunch of double A's, a bunch of triple A's, a D battery, and all the chargers necessary for them. That means that my brain, if my brain needs a battery, it goes to that pouch and it should have it. To the front now, there is two more external pouches. This one contains a field recorder, which is a audio device used to, you know, record audio and stuff. You can record it from the built-in mics there, or you can plug in an external mic, and that's what I plan to do in the future. Get some uh, Sennheiser G series uh, lav mics and put them in that pouch with there. And then on this side, we've got uh, some cleaning kit stuff, so everything to keep my lenses clean. There's a bunch in there, wipes and uh, sprays and stuff, but also earbuds because when I'm editing, I do not want everybody hearing what I'm doing. So that's that. Now let's get into the real meat and potatoes, the final portion of the bag. We have to undo four clips to actually get in uh, because if the zippers bust and you're moving, nothing will fall out, which is very nice. But this is where all the cameras and the lenses are inside the bag. I'm gonna have to go, well, we'll try and show you. Let's see here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Kinda kinda clunky, but we're okay. So we got three lenses down here in the bottom. This is a portrait lens. It's an 85 millimeter G Master lens. Uh, very, very nice, very expensive. Um, and then this is a, my, my primary. So this is a 24 to 70 G Master. Uh, I love the G Master lenses. I think they're the best. And then, this is a 55 millimeter portrait. Now I got the 55 and the 85 to test which one I liked more. Uh, I do like the 85 more for a portrait and the, you can't beat the G Master. So this is just a Sony. Um, so I'll probably replace that with a macro or something. Um, but yeah, that's those lenses. I also have up here the cameras. So we got this little package here, which has a Rode what is this, the Video Mic Pro, it's a directional mic, which is really great for wind, and that's what that wind sock was for that you saw earlier. So that mic's in there, and then it's, uh, this is my main rig, my Sony A7R Mark II. This is what I normally use to vlog and uh, do anything I want, and I got this mainly for school, so this is gonna be really fun. And that's that camera. I also have this guy here, the Manfrotto Pixie Mini X, and Everyone on YouTube you see using a Gorillapod and uh, a, a Canon camera and a, and a mic. I use the same mic, but um, I use Sony rig because I, I think it looks much better picture. And this guy is much better than a Gorillapod in my opinion. Uh, maybe not for street photography, but for what I do, you can hold on to it like this, right? And then it's got a little button here and it can swivel around and angle the camera any way you want. And then when you release the button, it locks. So anyways, very nice. Um, kind of grip there, but then it also butterflies out into a tripod. And that was my biggest gripe. It was very time consuming to have a gorilla pod and then set your camera down with it. So this, you could just open it up and put it down. So that's my favorite grip for cameras, Manfrotto Pixie something. And that's in there. And uh, the reason I included that is because it's part of my whole vlogging rig, which all fits in here. Now we also have beside it, just a Sony Flash. I'm not sure the model name because Sony has stupid model names, but uh, it's just a Sony Flash, which I've never really done much experimenting with uh, not onboard flash, like, you know, external flashes. Never done a lot of work with it, but again, I got it for school so that I can hopefully learn something about using this for like bouncing off walls and all that crazy tech. So that's my flash. And then uh, in here we have a battery battery brick thing so this plugs into the bottom of the Sony and it extends the battery life and it can also be then used vertically as like a portrait camera and underneath it we have the Sony a7s mark II. so there's the R mark II and the s mark II, and I have them both which should suffice for any situation I need and uh, that's that's it guys that's that's what's uh, that's what's in my camera bag that's that's it now as I'm packing up here, I just want to say a couple things. First of all, 
yes, I am indeed aware that this is absolute overkill. Yeah, it's crazy and it's a lot of money and uh, you don't need all this stuff, but I just happen to have it because of my business and you guys. So I happen to have this stuff. I'm going to film school. I've got really good film equipment, so I might as well bring it. I also like working with my own gear because I kind of know it. Um, and it's not a new learning curve for me. This way, we're doing all Apple stuff. So Final Cut Pro is what I use to edit. Boom, learning curve out of the way. Don't need to learn new software. I'm just going to guess that the first month of this is learning the software. I'll be pretty dang good at that. So that's out of the way. Uh, learning how to operate cameras. I've got my own. Boom, out of the way. Got my own lenses. Don't need to worry about, you know, returning them. And it's just easier, and I'm lucky enough and fortunate enough to be able to do this. So this is what I'm taking to film school. That's what's in my backpack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you know what to do. If you are new to the channel, this isn't what I normally do. I'm not very filmy. I am on my main channel, Nerf Boy Productions, where I uh, uh, take most pride in making theatrical Nerf Wars and films, and you can check those things out. But here I do daily vlogs, so if you're new to the channel, I try and film every single day. And uh, that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed, and as always, this was Adam, signing off. See you in school!